Operation Green Hunt was the name used by the Indian media to describe the all out offensive by government of India's paramilitary forces and the state's forces against the Naxalites. The operation is believed to have begun in November 2009 along five states in the Red Corridor. The term was coined by the Chhattisgarh police officials to describe one successful drive against the Communist Party of India Maoist in the state. It was erroneously used by the media to describe the wider anti Naxalite operations. The Government of India does not use the term, Operation Green Hunt, to describe its anti Naxalite offensive. Planning and implementation In October 2009, the Central Reserve Police Force CRPF announced that it was in the final stages of planning the offensive and had received approval from the Union-led government. The Commando Battalion for Resolute Action would take the lead in the operations against Maoist insurgents. But in September 2009, the media had already reported a massive three-day joint operation by the Cobra and Chhattisgarh police against the Maoists in Dantewada. At the beginning of November 2009, the first phase of the operation began in Gadchiroli district. As many as 18 companies of the Central Paramilitary Forces were moved into the area in anticipation of the operation. In April 2010, Mark Sofa had a conversation with Buddhadeb Bhattacharji and M. K. Narajanan on the subject of the Maoist extremism and West Bengal's internal security, and offered assistance by Israel in the state's battle against the Maoists. Initially in 2009, the Government of India had decided to move 80,000 central paramilitary personnel to wage offensive against the Maoists, strengthened by a fleet of ten armed helicopters from the Indian Air Force. According to the Daily Mail, by mid-2012, about 100,000 paramilitary personnel were deployed by the Indian government in its anti-Maoist operations from the CRPF, Border Security Force BSF, Indo-Tibetan Border Police and COBRA. On 3 January 2013, the Government of India issued a statement that it is deploying 10,000 more central paramilitary personnel in Basta, Odisha and some parts of Jharkhand. By May 2013, about 84,000 troops from the CRPF had been stationed in the Red Corridor to beef up the offensive. Apart from the paramilitary personnel, the SAPF personnel deployed in operations against the Maoists are estimated to number around 200,000. In his analysis in March 2014, Gautam Navlaka has claimed that 286,200 CRPF personnel along with 100,000 personnel from other central paramilitary forces and the SAPF are now engaged in the offensive against the CPI Maoist in 10 states of India. On 8 June 2014, the Minister of Home Affairs officially approved the deployment of another 10,000 troops from the paramilitary forces to fight against the Maoists in Chhattisgarh. To further boost the government's offensive, the Ministry of Home Affairs is looking forward to clone new commando units on the likes of Andhra Pradesh's Greyhounds and induce them in the ongoing anti Maoist operations in five other states Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Bihar, Maharashtra, and Odisha. The Times of India, in May 2013, stated that the Ministry of Home Affairs has decided to induce 10,000 more paramilitary personnel to move towards a fight to finish war against Maoists in Red Zone. The Indian Army has also been stationed in the Red Corridor, however, the Army claims that it is present there to train the paramilitary personnel to fight against the Maoists and denies its direct role in the offensive operations. The Chief of the Army Staff and the seven Army Commanders in mid-2011 had assessed that, if required, about 60,000 to 65,000 troops from the Indian Army would need to be induced in Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Odisha and West Bengal to battle the Naxalites. On 30 May 2013, the Indian Air Force's Air Chief Marshal declared that apart from the currently operating Mi-17 helicopters, the Indian Air Force is inducing a fleet of Mi-17V-5 helicopters to provide full support to anti-Naxal operations.
Recently in August 2014, the Ministry of Home Affairs stated that it is sending 2,000 personnel from the Naga Battalions of the Nagaland's Indian Reserve Battalions in Chhattisgarh's Basta to attack the Maoists, which according to the Economic Times, would make Basta the most militarized zone in India. The Naga Battalion personnel are being sent to fight the Maoists for a second time, with having battled the Maoists once before in West Bengal. The Indian Armed Forces personnel use satellite phones and they also have access to unmanned aerial vehicles. UAVs. Security forces have been using UAVs in anti Maoist operations for quite some time in Bihar, Chhattisgarh, and Jharkhand. Presently, the UAVs are being provided by the National Technical Research Organisation and Indian Air Force, but they have not been able to yield desired results for the armed forces. Hence, to further advance the offensive, the Defence Research and Development Organisation has taken an initiative to specially develop UAVs with lower frequency radars for the armed forces too. Track down the Maoists. The NTRO has specially imported 12 drones from Israel for aerial surveillance of Naxalites' activities in the forest region on Andhra Pradesh Arissa Chhattisgarh border. The Ministry of Home Affairs says that from 2007 to 2012, the Indian Armed Forces have killed 905 Naxalites and arrested 12,008. According to an analysis of the news reports by the South Asia Terrorism Portal, 2,111 Maoists, 2,669 civilians, and 1,695 armed forces personnel have lost their lives in the battle since 2005. <laughs> Maoists' response As a response to the offensive, the insurgents launched several high-profile attacks on the Indian security forces On February 15, 2010 at least 25 policemen died after Maoists overran a security camp in West Bengal state. Naxalite Maoist leader Kishenji claimed responsibility for the attack. He was quoted as saying that we have attacked the camp and this is our answer to P. Chidambarams the Indian Minister of Internal Affairs Operation Green Hunt and unless the center stops this inhuman military operation we are going to answer this way only." On April 6, 2010, Maoist rebels killed 75 policemen, CRPF men in a jungle ambush in central India, the most security forces ever killed by the insurgents in a single conflict. On the same day, Gopal, a top Maoist leader, said the attack was a direct consequence of the government's Operation Green Hunt offensive. This raised some voices of use of Indian Air Force against Naxalites, which were however declined citing, We can't use oppressive force against our own people. On June 29, 2010, at least 26 policemen have been killed in a Maoist attack in the central Indian state of Chhattisgarh. On the 11th of March 2014, at least 16 people, including 11 CRPF personnel, four policemen and one civilian were killed in an ambush in a thickly forested area of Giram Ghati in Sukma district of Chhattisgarh. On 1 December 2014, 14 CRPF personnel, including two officers Deputy Commandant B. S. Verma and Assistant Commandant Rajesh Kauria, were killed in Sukma district of South Chhattisgarh in a Maoist ambush. On the 11th of March 2017, 15 CRPF police and a civilian were killed in a Naxalite attack on the border of Basta and Sukma districts in Chhattisgarh. See also Naxalites Timeline of the Naxalite Maoist insurgency Operation Steeplechase <laughs>